Hi, this is Ben Masonheimer with Silver Seas Yachts, and today I'm going to walk you through a vessel we just took in trade. This is a 2013 Tierra 3600 Coronet. It has Cummins 380 horsepower diesels with almost 500 hours. It's in the 475 range or so. Anyway, very nice boat. I'd love to walk you through it, so come with me. We have beautiful varnished teak tow rails, uh, windless anchor by Lumar. I believe it's all chain. That's a yeah, all chain with a uh, raw water wash down here at the bow. Foot controls. Beautiful boat. Flag blue hull. Very clean and shiny. All the gel coats in great shape. The boat has satellite TV, radar, VHF, air horn, all the good stuff. We have some rod holders here in the gunnel. It's a diesel powered boat and you can fill it its single uh, tank from either side. The boat is about 36 six and a half feet long but with the swim platform, this is the 45 inch swim platform with teak inlay. That gets the whole length of the boat out to about 40 foot two or three inches. I've always really like the transoms on these boats, the round in them, it's just beautiful. And this is a painted hull so you're not going to have the issues with, uh, with, with, the, with it fading all the time. The paint doesn't fade. It's good for, you know, oh, I don't know, uh, probably 10, 15 years if you take care of it and keep wax on it. It has new seagrass carpet. This was done locally and it looks really great. Here's our teak table with inlay around the edge. Beautiful. And our seating area here. You have a floor locker just in this area that's insulated. There's another one under here, but because of the seating, it's a little hard to get to it. And that, uh, that hatch there doesn't open up on hinges, but it comes out and you set it aside. Um, now the table here has a second set of rods that will lower this table down. And there's a pad that goes on it that makes a big layout area here. Here's our aft facing seats. The lower uh, rods are, uh, for the table are underneath this seat here because there's storage underneath each of them. Great walkways, great flare in this boat. The hull has a ton of flare. I'll hopefully get you a picture of that, but uh, it makes for a very nice walkway forward. Here's our helm companion seating. I really like this angle on the backrest, which is very comfortable for putting your legs up. And there's even more of an angle on this backrest. So say one person's driving, the other person can kick their feet up, watch the wake and talk to the captain. Here's our removable teak table. When you remove this table, it's going to go ahead and store in the back of the helm seat and it makes a really cool accent when it's clicked in there um, with the back of the helm seat being teak. Here's our wet bar with Kenyan barbecue. Still need, I just took this one on trade, so I need to do a little cleaning in here still, it looks like. Uh, but that is your um, refrigerator and you can chill this out to where it will freeze things. Uh, most people have to keep it only turned halfway up, it'll freeze everything otherwise. Great size, great for drinks and um, a really nice brand. Here we have a television that flips up and works for this whole cockpit here. Uh, one other thing I didn't mention back in the transom, you have the uh, stereo control and hot and co cold water shower there. Okay, here at the helm we have 5212 electronics that were installed from the factory. Uh, we have a nice Garmin autopilot. Basically it has all the bells and whistles for 2013. The boat has a generator and um, the controls for that are downstairs but when it's on you'll see the generator light, light up green. Here's our stereo controls, bow thruster. We have our mahogany wheel circuit breakers below, VHF, digital throttles. Here's your hours, 472.8 and 472.9. The boat holds 350 gallons of fuel and it has 261 gallons. This boat's very economical. I'll post, or I have posted another video uh, with the burn rates and I'll put a link to that in the description. Here is our manual sunroof. You just pull this handle, grab the knob, and it slides right open. You also have a windshield vent that will open up. So, great condition. 
beautiful boat, rides very level in the water, and it's just so economical to run. Full teak interior. Here's our head door, but I just love all the teak. Really nice. And nothing's dinged up. This is a two owner boat, and both owners have taken great care of it and then moved up into larger Tierras. So you have a little seat back here with the panel above it. Here's your AC panel. Let me see if I can get a little more light here. There's your AC panel with air conditioning controls. Here's your DC panel with generator start stop and uh, your tank gauges. And here's a little privacy curtain to block this off. This mattress will flip out to about right here and you have another bed underneath the stairs. This is the cushion I was telling you about that makes the um, the cockpit into a layout area. Really nice porthole here for this area. Single burner. And we have a stainless steel sink, stainless steel faucet, storage above. I love these little handles that are leather wrapped. Really cool. So storage above storage down here. This boat has a great fridge for its size. So here's your fridge. Again, still need to clear some stuff out. I just got the boat in. Let me see here. Convection microwave and storage down below as well. Also, I, there are storage under this seat. The seat, uh, the seat bottom lifts up. Okay, so TR beds, they always lift up. This one does the same. It comes with uh, 500 thread count custom sheets, custom blankets, the pillows with the old name, but they're still nice. And also, this was custom done by the last owner, the bed cover, and then they added a bamboo topper to the mattress. You have a hatch above, storage on either side of the bed, TV, we removed the satellite boxes. Or no, the satellite boxes are on the boat. The service has been turned off. So it's showing there that you do have dish network that you're hooked up to. You just need to add your account. Again, storage. Cedar lined hanging locker. There's your direct TV. Okay, so this bulkhead pins in place, but it will come out. And uh, let's see, you'd have to be using both hands and not holding a camera, but basically it comes out like this and it makes a full master suite. Okay, beautiful head with separate shower. Storage. All the woodwork is in great shape. Here's your separate shower. With hatch. And a vacuum flush head there. Again, everything's perfect, no corrosion on the drains. And that's throughout the whole boat. It's been very well cared for. Okay, up here we have our stereo, and this is where you can plug in um, a USB cord and charge your phone and play music at the same time. And of course, it's another hanging locker. All right. All right, here's our engine room. Generator, QSB 5.9, 380 horsepower Cummins turbo diesels. Great motors, very efficient. This thing's burning like 13 aside at a mid 20 knot cruise, say like 24 knots or so. Here's your head, uh, black water tank with macerator. We have an oil change system here on the bulkhead. There's also a center hatch that will come on down. The batteries are underneath this floor plate here. You have your big C strainers right there in the middle with through haul valves, bilge pump, and automatic fire suppression. Anyway, lightly used, um, mainly a harbor cruiser with blasts over to Catalina. A couple more batteries here. But really a rare boat, especially because it's a 2013 and uh, 
was ordered with the diesel option and then it's just in really really great shape all right I hope you enjoyed this little walkthrough of our 2013 3600 TR Coronet again please feel free to give me a call about this or any of your boating needs at 619-800-3491 or you can contact me at bigboatbin at gmail.com thanks and we'll see you on the water